Procrastinators, you better get a move on. Tax time is just days away now. Retail Me Not, the largest online coupon site in the U.S., has released a new tax poll showing how Americans go about filing their taxes, how much they expect to get back, what they plan to do with the money. Emma Johnson, the personal finance expert and senior writer for Retail Me Not, .com's online magazine, The Insider, joins us now with some tips on getting your ducks in a row. Emma, welcome. Thanks for having me. The poll that you guys conducted shows that 67% of the tax filers expect to get a refund this year, and a significant number of them expect to get what? More than $1,000, right? A significant. That's right. 27,000, 27% expect $1,000 or more. So that's good news and bad news. Why is it bad news? Well, of course, who doesn't love getting a big check in the mail, right? right. But bad news means that you're giving the government an interest-free loan. You're taking too much out of your paycheck every month with your, uh, for your deductions. So the, the, the advice here is to try to fine-tune that so you come out dead even at the dead end of the year. Dead even. There's a great tool at irs.gov that can help you figure out just how much you should take out. Uh -huh. Or you can always go to your HR professional at your company and they can help you figure out the right numbers. Now, a lot of people just love getting the refund and, and they may not really care that they're not getting in, any interest on the money as they would in the bank, especially now because banks are paying less than 1% interest. So this is true. A difference. But in other environments, in other times, when you can get 3 or 4% interest on your money in the bank, it does make sense, doesn't it? To, it to does make it, sense. Yeah. Breaking even is the best goal. And also this year we found Retail Me Not's poll found that a big chunk of people are using the refunds for things like paying their bills, mm -hmm. groceries, gas, paying your mortgage. So that tells us that people really do need as much money as they can mm -hmm. get out of every single paycheck. What should they be doing with the money if they can? Well, I like different things that can help you actually grow your your wealth. So that might include mm -hmm. investing in a 401k that will save you money on this year's taxes, grow your wealth over the long term. Think about things like saving uh, uh, energy costs for your home, things like investing in a new appliance for your kitchen, new washer and dryer, or energy efficient your home. Mm -hmm. um, also think about maybe investing in improving your health because we know that people who are overweight tend to spend a lot more money over their health on their health over a lifetime mm -hmm. and also earn a lot less over their lifetime. So you're actually advocating kind of kind of long-term planning here instead so of the short-sighted thing about just paying off some of the interest or some of the debt you have or, or, or splurging when you get that check, right? Absolutely. I mean, April is a great opportunity for everybody just to sort of spring clean their personal finances. Think about how much mm -hmm. money is coming in, how much is going out, what you really want to do with your money in the short term and the mm -hmm. long term, and figure out a plan to make that happen. Now, if perchance you undershoot on your withholding, if you reduce the amount that's withheld and you end up owing the government a little bit of money, right? is there a penalty there? Uh, there is a little bit of a penalty. You can usually come up with a payment plan over a year or five years if it's really bad and you pay it some penalties and some interest. So who likes to do that, right? Okay. Most people do use an accountant to file their taxes. Mm -hmm. Is that smart? It's smart for a lot of people, people who have complicated investments. Maybe you're planning for a big change in your life, retirement, your kids are going off to college for the first time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely a great option for people to get that personal touch. But I also like a lot of the tax software that's out there. It's very affordable. It's very easy to use. Some of these great products out there, 20 to 60 bucks, you can go online, download it. H&R mm -hmm. Block has a great program if you use their tax software. You can do it online at home on yourself, mm -hmm. on your own time, and then walk into one of the local uh, offices and have a person look over it. And uh, Retail Me Not has a great program right now, 40% off through Friday on their online software for H&R Block. What's, are they really easy to use? They're so much better than they were a few years ago, these programs. There's online chat. They're very efficient. They kind of walk you through the steps. And then there's always that option where you can get that in-person touch if you really need it. All right. Emma Johnson, thanks for sharing your wisdom. We appreciate it. Thank you. Still ahead as we continue, the Manhattan teen accused of beating his mom to death goes before a judge.